because these, look at these two. Listen, I'm gonna take one of yours. <laughs> Guys, this is why I'm learning. I'm not an expert. Oh my God. <laughs> so let's start with my one, please, that I stole from you. Okay. Foodie lovers, thanks for watching How To Foodie Nation. Today, I have a very, very sweet and special guest with me, Marina, from the Messy Apron. Hi, friends. And she'll be teaching us how to make hot cross buns. So let's get baking. So Marina, you bake, yes. and I often eat from you. So today you came to teach me so I don't have to nag you all the time That's to make fine, stuff. That's fine, you know. That's fine. I'm really happy. So we're doing hot cross buns. How yes. are we started? So first we'll add flour. Okay. Sugar. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon. A pattern of dry ingredients going on here. Right. And yeast. Okay. And then I'll mix this up a bit with my hands. So why do we mix just dry ingredients alone? I always wondered. Just to make sure everything is well incorporated. Ah, yeah. so it's like even, Steven. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Okay, so now you'll cut in three ounces of margarine. Very good margarine. So this is our CJ Margo margarine. It's like a vegan butter. <clears throat> it's no trans fats, zero cholesterol. So it's super healthy. Got like three ounces you said, right? Yeah. Okay, let me whoop. I could average three ounces. I'm not the best at eyeballing, but I'm gonna try. Okay, so we're doing like this much? Yes. Okay, cool. So there you go, bam. Right. So now I'll cut this in. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. So you kind of just squeeze it up a little bit? Yes. I'm really and happy you're not making me mix. Well, yeah, because I see you have things on your fingers. A very nice ring uh, yes. that you're familiar with. Mm -hmm. Guys, actually, Marina is a good friend of mine. We went to the same secondary school. Convent. So, yeah, the, the, the convent. <laughs> it's, it's convent, guys, relax. But um, so I've known her for a really long time and I love, love, love her baking. She keeps me in the gym. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We both need to be going. <laughs> Food is so good, so that's why. All right. So, in the meantime, while I'm doing this, mm -hmm. you could add the egg right. into this warm okay. milk. Um, oh, with let me keep this right. Lemon essence mm -hmm. and a bit of yellow food coloring. So, why am I adding egg into a warm milk when it cook? No. So, while you're mixing it like that, it'll just help. It'll temper the the egg, so mm -hmm. it'll keep it from cooking while you're adding it into the warm milk. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it just brings it up to the same temperature. Yeah. Oh. And then you add in the um. This is what again? That's lemon extra. Right, right, right. So we get some flavorings in. Right. And then this is food coloring? Yes, so use the... Spoon? Yeah, just okay. to add a bit drop or two in. Okay, let's see. How about this much? Yes, that should be okay. All right, right. good. Good. To give it a traditional yellow color <laughs> you. <laughs> that nice hot cross buns color. Yes. And as everybody knows, hot cross buns is traditionally eaten mm -hmm. on Good Friday. Some people start all the way on Holy Thursday because they can't wait. Yeah, yeah, me too, same. <laughs> but it's just something that most, well, most Christians and yeah. especially Catholics believe is just a good sign of fellowship between people on Good Friday. Mm -hmm. It's like, how oh, you could have breakfast on Good Friday morning and it's not buns. You're not eating breakfast then. Okay, I okay. think this is good. So yeah. I pour for you now? No. First, you pour oh. in the rest of the dry ingredients. Okay. So it's currants, mm -hmm. mixed fruits, and raisins. Okay, okay. So yeah. we have a very filling hot cross bun going on. Mm -hmm. We have action in here. <laughs> yeah. Let me help you out there. There you go. So you want to add the, the fruits and stuff to the flour so that it'll, it'll coat it. Okay. Yeah. So then it doesn't clump up and sink down to the bottom. Well, yeah. <laughs> Very and then cool. now you can add in. Now my masterpiece. Yes. Hold on a second. Let me get that in for you. So do I need to go slow? Or yeah. I can just throw? No, you can go, go slow so I can mix while okay. it. So how long have you been baking? Um, honestly, it's been a while on and off for a few years. Mm -hmm. um, it started off as a hobby. And then as I went to school yeah. in the States and stuff, coming back, every time I would come back, people would order. And it just started with friends and family ordering. Mm -hmm. And then finally, it grew into a business. <laughs> well, it's the best kind of business. I mean, who doesn't love to eat, especially K 
cake. Sweet, sweet mm. stuff. Yeah. Love some cake. Love desserts in general. And so I always cool. had a sweet tooth too, so. So you make for people who like you? Yeah. Smart, very smart. Okay. So you're gonna keep mixing in the bowl? Yeah, well for now, just so that I'll make sure that everything is a bit incorporated because mm -hmm. I don't want to add it onto the um, counter and it's like really sticky. Right. So I just Keep wanna... working, keep working. Yes. Get yeah. those arm muscles moving. You know, moving. I should have just make you take off the ring. No, 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 no. <laughs> I feel like you're doing such a good job by yourself. Don't <laughs> let me ruin the flow. You could do this. I believe okay. in you. You also throw in half of the dough on the counter. I know. Yeah, real working. <laughs> Okay, you could dust some of the flour on the counter then. Okay, sure. Wait, oh yes, yes. We have to add in salt, lastly. Who is the baker here, me or you? Kazian. Evidently. <laughs> Almost forget the people's salt. You're not good. So the reason why we didn't add the salt at the beginning was because usually salt kills yeast, so you don't want to add it um, while you're adding the yeast at the same exact time. Okay, so that means that the yeast won't activate and it won't rise and get nice and poofy. All right, okay. exactly. Smart, okay. smart. Good, so you can put some of the flour on. Sure, let me take this bowl for you. Yeah. Oh. If you okay. wanna give me the rest of that. You don't wanna waste? No, no. Oh, you okay. Could, yeah, yeah. I have to, you mean you to say I have to get my hands dirty? I don't see why not. Girl, <laughs> this labor. Labor of love. I guess so. I mean, I did ask you to teach me, so why exactly. not work? Yeah, Is that go. enough? Yes. Okay, cool. Oh, no, I think it's... So let me let me get my hand in the bowl and get you just little, little bits. Thank you. It's greatly appreciated. You're very welcome. <laughs> okay, so then we'll knead. Mm -hmm. And then you could add a bit more flour to it so that it'll... Sure. Because it's still a bit wet. So just drop? Yeah. You can put... I love how we're seeing all the colors mm -hmm. from the mixed fruits and then all those currants and raisins. It's studded with goodness, yes. which means it's gonna taste so good. <laughs> Is this the kind of consistency you're looking for or you uh, wait until it doesn't stick to the counter? Yeah, it's still a bit wet, so you can add more flour sure. and to the counter as well. Let's counter it up first, yeah. Okay. And then add some onto the dough. Yeah. And you kind of just play it by texture. Yeah. So you'll feel when it's ready. Yeah, you'll see. Once it's still like this sticky, mm -hmm. and then you have to knead for about 10 minutes. What? Yeah. 10 minutes? Yeah. Because oh. so, you want to activate the gluten in it. Okay. Yeah. That but, gives it, it the texture, right? Yeah, it'll make it more elastic, mm. give it a nice um, texture when it bakes. Okay. Whew, I started to sweat. So let's leave you to knead this for the 10 minutes yes. while you sweat it up. Right. Keep going, my friend. <laughs> you surviving? Yeah, boy. I have a kind of... <laughs> okay, you see, you can see the muscles. This is kitchen gym. Yeah, boy. How's Honestly, it looking? It looks ready. So yeah? now you could grease the bowl. Okay. Um, I'm greasing the bowl because this is going back in here. Yes, so we're gonna put it back in here and leave it to rise for about an hour. An um, hour? A whole hour? Yeah, this is like long. Oh, I thought we was gonna eat just now. No, no. Okay, 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 okay. So we're gonna put it back in here um, and just leave it uncovered? No, we're gonna cover it with a damp cloth and leave it um, in a warm area. Mm -hmm. So there we go. So I guess this is what the damp cloth is for. Yes. All right, so our time? Yes. Okay, let's wait. Yeah. Okay, so now we are on step two? Yes. What is step two? So now we have to make the glaze. Okay. So in a hot pot, we're mm -hmm. gonna add some water. Right, And you right. do the work this time because... As she put me in front of the stove, I knew I had work to do. <laughs> So a shorty pot hot. <laughs> What's next? Add sugar, brown sugar. Why brown sugar? Any particular reason? Or you just like brown sugar? Yeah, I think it gives a different flavor. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Right. Um, then we put some vanilla essence. Okay. Mm-hmm. Some mixed essence. Right. And a bay leaf. <laughs> so we just drop in this bay leaf. Drop the bay leaf. In. Okay. And then you'll just mix, and you want it to, you want everything to melt, and leave it to boil for a while until it um, 
halves in size and it gets a bit thicker. Okay, so it yeah. reduces. Yeah. Now, what is the glaze for it's, exactly? It's my favorite part of the bun, actually. I think it gives it all its flavor. Um, this is the all over kind of stickiness. Yes. Mm, okay, okay, okay. It's cross time. Mm -hmm. So take me through it. Okay, so first we're gonna add the egg whites. Mm -hmm. To the bowl. So one egg white. So we're making royal icing. So royal icing is just egg whites and icing sugar. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, okay. <laughs> so that's basically it. Yes. So we're going to beat this until it's just a bit frothy. Yeah. And then you can add in the icing sugar. And I'll tell you when. Okay, sure. So this is one version of doing the royal icing for buns. But I know there's another way. Right. So this way, it'll hold up a bit better. Um, the other way is just to use milk mm -hmm. and icing sugar. And that's runny. Yeah. Okay. So this one is better to keep your shape. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now you can add some of the... Icing sugar. Yeah. So a spoon at a time or just the whole bowl? You could go ahead and put in a few spoons. Okay, sure. Yeah. It looks just like flour in my mind. I know. Okay. Well, let me... And there we go again? Yeah, just now. Sure. And you can this... see the peaks forming and everything. Yes. So... Yeah. Mm. All right. So that's enough for us. Mm -hmm. Cool. And like I said, if you need to thin it down a bit, you could always add milk or water. Okay, so the sweet parts are done. Let's get to those buns. <laughs> Okay, so now we have our dough. It's risen. Very nice. Yes. It's like twice the size now. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna grease the dish. Okay. And then we're gonna make the buns. So we're gonna half this. We're gonna half this. Punch it down. Mm -hmm. Half it. And then we're gonna make 12. So we're gonna get six from each bowl yes okay so i'm gonna leave this for you wait i, th I thought it was just greasing the dish i work into mm, yeah <laughs> okay all right you gotta show me the technique though yeah yeah once you finish all right we we, we greased here we right, greased right i'm paying attention i'm ready okay so let me move this out of the way right i'll just move this way to get some more space right <laughs> so you're gonna Pinch off a piece. Uh huh. Right. Wait, you didn't let me squish down mine first. Sorry. This much of a piece, like right there. Yeah. Okay. Pinch off. And then what we could do to make it easier too is just keep pinching until you get six even size, like even pieces. I'm not guaranteeing that I'm gonna get six even. Well, it's okay. Pieces. We'll just. I will start with my one, and you will pinch the rest for me. Cause these, look at these two. Listen, I'm gonna take one of yours. <laughs> Guys, this is why I'm learning. I'm not an expert. Oh my god. <laughs> so let's start with my one, please, that I stole from you. Okay. So, so we have some evenish. Evenish? Evenish. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what you're gonna do, mm -hmm. you get press it on to make it easier. Okay. So you have a kind of flat, smooth top. Yeah. And then you could always just fold it in like this mm -hmm. and just pinch and So we're roll. making a ball? Yes. Okay. Okay. Right, so it doesn't seem so hard. Roll. So you pinch and roll the, the back. Mm -hmm. So then your top will be nice and flat. Ha! Uh -huh. That I can do! <laughs> right. So now we just put it in the dish okay. and keep going. Can they touch so each other? No. So don't. So they need some space? Yeah, because remember, it'll rise. It has to uh, rise again. Yes. Yeah, okay. So it'll, it'll get bigger and touch. Okay, so I'm going to keep stealing yours. All right, yeah, that's and nice. we're going to keep rolling. <laughs> I think I did a really good job, okay? Yeah, she did. I think so. These balls look even and neat. So what now? Okay, so now we're gonna cover it with mm -hmm. the same damp cloth okay. um, and we're gonna put it in a warm area. We're gonna let it rise for an hour again and then... Let it rise for what? An no. hour? Yeah. This is the longest I've taken to get some buns, like yeah. ever. Yeah. All right, so rice for an hour and then what after that? And then after that, we put it to bake. Okay. So just a little hour, and then how long are we baking? 
We bake in it for about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. You get checked from between 15 to 20 minutes right. um, at 3.25. And then we cleanse, we ice and we eat. Yes. Okay. Cover it, let's go. Okay. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. They're they so big now. So well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what am I doing next, boss? So now you have to glaze it. So use the pastry brush mm -hmm. and you're gonna dip it in the glaze. Okay. And just and just brush away. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And you said this is your favorite part of it. Yes. So now this glaze got super thick. Yeah. I want to make sure I get it all. So you're gonna keep glazing, and then after this, what happens? After this, we let it cool for a bit, and then we'll add the we'll do the crosses on them. So why can't we just put the crosses on one time? It's it's too hot. It'll just run off. Oh, okay. And you don't so, want that. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> we want yeah. the crosses to look like crosses. All right. Got it. We almost finished. We are almost finished. Mm -hmm. So now that it's cool. Right. Cross time. Yes. So we have our royal icing mm -hmm. in a Ziploc bag. Um, so you don't have to go buy in any fancy equipment. Pipe in bag. Right. Yeah. We, we saving money here. Right. So you're just going to cut a tip, the tip off and then pipe. How big you want to do it? I mean, I want to see my crosses properly, but not too big. Mm -hmm. I don't want it all over the place. So like a border. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that good? Mm-hmm, that's right. perfect. Okay, so there's a technique to this. Yeah, that's it. So you don't do one by one. You do like lines across. Right. And that's how you get it to stay even. Yes. And when you squeeze in, you apply pressure like hard, soft. Just medium. Okay. Oh, it's melting. It's melting. It's so pretty though, oh my. So what are we putting in these buns? Because like with any other brand, I love my hot cross buns with cheese. Okay. Eating it just as is or just you're taking cheese? Is. Oh, you don't have time for cheese. I don't have time for that. Okay. So there we go. All right, so we need to get some plates so we can try these babies. Uh, yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> so it's my favorite time of every episode. Time Eating to eat. Time. Exactly. <laughs> And I've actually heard that there is a tradition in some European countries is that if you share a hot cross bun with your friend, that means it'll be friends for the entire year. So I'm going to offer you a bun. The biggest one. The, the biggest one. And hope that you'll be my friend for the whole year. <laughs> and more. Mm -hmm. And more and more and more. That's also a bribe Smells to get more things. so good. Ready? Mm -hmm. Let's again. A moment of silence for the deliciousness. If you guys could see all the jellies that we put in there. I see currants, I see raisins. Delicious. You have nothing to say. So good. Thank no, mm. no. No, it's really nice and nice and fluffy mm -hmm. and soft. Mm -hmm. And so warm. So um I mean I just want to eat the whole thing and not even being silly. But this is for me is really my favorite part of Easter. It's my favorite part of Good Friday morning. And I know for all of our viewers, I'm sure it's your favorite part as well. Like this video if you love a good hot cross buns over the Easter period. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out Marina at The Messy Apron TT on Instagram, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. She makes great things. She eats the great things. Yeah. <laughs> Until next time, we're going to finish these. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.